do what God says I can. Praise the Lord. Yeah. I wish I could remember the rest of it right quick. Who strengthens me, I can do what God says I can. I can go where God says I can. Yeah. I can go where God says I can. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can go where God says I can. Amen. I am who God says I am. I am who God says I am. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I am what God says I am. You know why I keep on going, Sister Sue? Because that's what I believe. I believe I don't believe what the devil says about me. The devil says I'm nothing. The devil says I'm no good. The devil says I run people out of church. The devil tells me all kinds of lies. And he said, why don't you just leave it up to somebody that knows what they're doing and just say, oh, shut up. But you know what? I'm saying it again. I can. I believe what God says I am. Praise the Lord. And God says I can. So I'm going to keep on because God says I can. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. I don't do it because I think I'm capable. I don't do it because I think I'm educated. I don't do it because I think I know anything. But I do it because God says I can. Yeah. Praise the Lord. It's so to you. Yeah. Do you believe what God says about it? Or do you believe what the devil is talking to you? Somebody here tonight, you know the devil's been lying to you about something. Yep. Come on, brother. Preach. Bring that word. I'm made righteous by the blood of Jesus Christ. Man. Yep. I'm going to heaven by the blood of Jesus Christ. I might be a good husband. It's okay. I might be a good daddy. That's okay. I might be a good employee. That's okay. I might be a good person all around and all about. But that ain't what's going to get me there no way. It's going to be the righteous blood of Jesus Christ. Yeah. The born again experience that I had with God February 1984. Praise the Lord. Many battles, many times, through many things, and I couldn't tell you all of them. Time wouldn't permit, and I probably couldn't think of them all. I remember sister. Sister Erica reminded me of something that I had forgotten about that took place three years, I guess three years, three, almost four years ago. I come in here one day, thought I was, thought it was over. Thought my life was over. I thought everything was done for, Sister Sandra, and I felt so discouraged and so depressed that I was listening to what the devil thought about me. Thought it was all over. Come on, brother. Mr. LeBar got up again. Keep on going, sister. Don't you stop. If you ain't going to do it for nobody but this way, keep on going. Praise the Lord. I need you. Bless the Lord. Yes. She got up and she prophesied. And she said, there's somebody here. She said, the devil's telling you, or you think that it's over. Let me tell you what the Lord has to say about it. God said it's not over. You've just begun. <laughs> I thought I was dead, sister. So God said I was just starting. <laughs> yeah. The devil said you come to your end. God said no. You come to the beginning. Praise the Lord. Somebody ought to shout on that one. Yeah.
through somebody, or through some word, or through some prophecy, or some through some great miracle, he would just yeah. I thought, Lord, you really love me. <laughs> Lord, you've got to love me. He never had to say, My head's low. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all don't want to know why I say that. I used to work with her. She used to be my supervisor. Yeah. And she was always having to kind of put me back in line. <laughs> I've grown. <laughs> Thank God I've grown. <laughs> She she complimented me the other day. She said, Brother Johnny, I've seen a lot of growth in you. I've seen what God's doing in your life. Because she worked with me every day. She knew what I was like. I was ill, wasn't I? I was always just bitter. Didn't want to forgive people sometimes. I'd get mad every time. He didn't. God didn't use no bad language or nothing like that. But... Come on. That's where it worked, didn't it? Kept on praying for me, didn't he? He said, Three. Praise the Lord. I know y'all have too. Everybody has. And I appreciate every one of them. I do. Praise the Lord. God has delivered me for so long out of so many mouths of the line, out of so many mental prisons, out of so many places that I had no idea how I was yeah. about to get out of. But I knew, Sister Sandra, one thing I knew, that He was God and that He was able. If you believe He's God and you believe He's able, He'll do it. He will. He'll do it if you don't let go, if you don't give up. I can't tell you how long you have to face the battle you're facing. I can't tell you how long you got to go through what you're going through. I can't tell you when God will put an end to it. But I can tell you what thing God yeah. will deliver you if you yeah. believe Him yeah. and listen to what He says about it yeah. instead of the lies of the devil. Amen. Amen. I had no idea I was going to preach for the day. But I'm glad God is. I am too, brother. Come on. I am. Yes. Y'all gonna need this. I'm telling you. You better eat all you can get. I'm fixing to wash the supper dishes. Praise the Lord. Oh, Lord. Sit down at the table and Sister Pink says it's over. You better grab up the last bite. She's Amen. fixing to throw the dishes in the sink. You don't let them. That's what I'm Come fixing on, to do. I'm fixing to stop. Praise the Lord. Listen to me, church. Praise Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Listen to what God says. Don't believe a lie of the devil. Don't believe what the devil says, but believe what God says. That's the truth. Yeah, Pete. We went up to a visiting church in Cowan one, one Sunday morning. A few years back. I was going to go over there and hear my boss preach. I've never heard him, brother Derek. I'm kind of interested in how, he, how the Lord would use him. <laughs> We got over there, it was a little bit of snow, just about like sand on the, no, no, not even sand, it was just packing, just a little bit of snow. And they just shut down the church because it snowed. I asked this friend, I don't know if he's going to go last night. So we went over there. That man didn't know nothing about me, and I didn't know nothing about him. I walked in that church, I sat down, and I began to listen to the Sunday school teacher. And all at once, out of nowhere, here came the voice of God. And he said, Come on. This is what I want you to preach. <laughs> I said, Lord, did you see where I'm at? <laughs> That's what I thought, just for that, Lord, you just did you see what I'm not at home. <laughs> and God bless bless Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Yes. I said, But well, Lord, this man don't know me. He don't know nothing about me. I don't know him. This, this is what I want you to preach. I said, I'll tell you what, God. <clears throat> I said, when I get a chance to testify, I'll say what you've given me to say. The Lord didn't argue with me. He seemed to be just fine with that for the moment. <laughs> he didn't argue with me, Sister Sandra. He just... <laughs> and to my surprise, when everything was over, that man walked up behind the pulpit. And he looked back there at me and he said, I'm just going to thank the Lord this morning, sir. <laughs> Do you know, Brother Derek, he called me up there to preach. <laughs> now you tell me that that wasn't God. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah. I just want to say something. I believe what God says about me, Sister Sue. I don't believe what my carnal mind says. I don't believe what the world says about me. I don't believe what the enemy of my soul says about me. But I believe what God yeah. says about me. You know why? 
Cause I am what God says I am. Amen. I am what, what God, God says, says I am. I can do Amen. all things through Christ who strengthens me. I am what God says I am. Amen. I can do what God says I can do. I can do what God says I can do. Amen. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do what God says I can do. Because I am who God says I am. So are you. God bless you. That's it. I'm done for the rest.